It's recovery. Probably my favorite map at the moment. Not gonna lie. What is what is your favorite map? You know, I'm I'm I I like this one. Um, now I have an issue with the map called Riot. I love the map. I love the map design, but I never do well on that map. It's it's true. I don't know what it is. It just happens all the fudging time. Biolab is also a very very nice map, and I don't. Well, so far those are the map like names that I know. Uh, once I know more and decide which one is my number one favorite, well, right now is this one. But after that, I'll uh, I'll make sure to let you know, guys. Now I don't know about you guys, but for the first like two days, so you know, uh, I guess yesterday I decided what what I was gonna do about this specific topic, and this guy is immune to bullets. Dude, what is up with these hit markers? Like, honestly. But I was changing sensitivity. Well, not almost every game, but like in one day I would change my sensitivity three to four times. And if you just play Call of Duty, you know, and, and I mean, if, if you're watching this, you probably know a couple of things about Call of Duty. And you know that changing this, your sensitivity, it is, it is not a smart idea whatsoever. Like, you gotta, even if you don't feel comfortable with any sensitivity, you might as well just pick one. And lock it, man, and just and just use it until you get used to it. And that's kind of what I did right now. Uh, I'm using 12. Wait, let me check. Yes, I am using 12. Uh, the reason why I chose 12 it's because it's a little bit lower from uh, what I usually use. But then again, I'm using the variable zoom in the first in the first uh, zoom, I guess you could say. So it's more zoomed out. Therefore, you know, I don't need to move. My analog stick so much to move a, a certain area Like these hit markers, dude And since I can use a lower I, I thought, you know, I'm just gonna use 12 and I'm gonna stick to it And hopefully this will be for the good I'm not gonna lie Ever since I stuck to a sensitivity I got a lot of, well, I cannot say clips But, you know, I got a lot of cool 4 pieces and 5 pieces So... I, I do think it's definitely working. Now it's just a matter of me getting a little bit more lucky and we should be on the right path. Uh, and for everybody out there that is struggling as well, I don't know why, but sensitivity in this game is just its just weird, man. I honestly, between 13 and 17, I, I almost didn't notice a difference. I'm not joking with you. So remember, guys, if you're struggling with sensitivity, you know, pick something that it's, you know, usable, like you know this is usable, even though you may not be very very comfortable with it and stick to it at least for like a full day a full day of playing or two three days you know and, and give it a shot give it a shot guys okay we got we got overtime here let me see if i can get a clip or something in overtime hopefully i hope you guys enjoyed today's video sorry that there isn't a clip you know what i'll add um the other five on split that i got i don't really have the reaction but I'll add it here. The flag. Momentum matched. System hacked. Enemy streaks and equipment. Enemy streaks and equipment. Enemy streaks and equipment. Taking the flag. And once again, thank you everybody for watching. Please let me know what sensitivity do you use in this Call of Duty. Either it is trick shotting or just sniping or even just red gunning. You know, I would love to know because it seems that this game and the sensitivity in it, it's a little bit weird. Maybe because of the jumps and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Mikau and I'll see you guys on the next video.